What up, chat? Good Thursday evening. The first thing you might have noticed is that Cthulhu is on the other side now because Jay rearranged the system so I don't have to put the camera way off to one side anymore. It's great. I'm centered. Cthulhu's like, would you? Do you need me to move it or are you just creeping on chat? I'm just, just trying to see where I am. Right there. Okay. Do we need to move Cthulhu back for your uh, well. edging pleasure? <laughs> no. Okay. That came out dirtier than it did. did. Oh. Whoops. But anyway, this watching us play Fallout is instead of the second night of the Democratic debates is self care, because there are four hundred and ninety five days until Americans vote in the next presidential election, and we're all going to be crazy by then. Uh, we're under a severe thunderstorm warning right now, so just heads up if we disappear. Uh, April came late this year to the south. Normally this weather would have already been come and gone. Alright. What were we doing, babe? <clears throat> well, don't know. Whatever we want. I was thinking maybe start uh, Far Harbor. Yeah, let's do that. That way we got something contained. I mean, we're not gonna finish it tonight. No, but, like, it gives us, like, a goal. Because we gotta get to, what, 45? So that we can do... Might as well do I mean, the witch. That's the recommended. Yeah, might as well do the witch on our way there. That's where the death law is, isn't it? Yeah. We gotta get the egg. Why would Bertie Droper steal another mother's child? Is she gonna try to raise the death claw as her own? <laughs> she misses her son. I'm going with no. Hmm? To going there, or is that what, or to why Bertie Droper wants a uh... to why? Oh, okay. Just trying to make sure. Everything looks groovy in the new camera angle. Oh man. It's getting thundery out there. I guess that's why it sounded like the uh, ice cream truck was like speed demoning through the neighborhood. Like I heard it go up and down the street like four times within two minutes. So get your ice cream before the fucking rain comes. Oh, oh why? Motherfucker. You spawned into a grenade. Yes, son? Oh, well. Ignore her, ignore her. I don't want her to pee on the couch. She has yet- the puppy has not yet learned to control her excitement pee. I know, I see him right there. Go eat and then you can pet her. She'll have time to have adjusted to the fact that you're downstairs again. Holy shit, you haven't seen him in like three hours. You thought he was never coming back. Oh, is the husky hiding in his, like, hallway hole? Yeah, he doesn't like thunder. No, he doesn't. Thunder bad. What in the absolute shit is going on? All right. That's thunder. enough out of you. <laughs> Asshole. I like her. Why do we still have her, though? We're taking her- yeah, let's take her- or should we take Valentine? Because he would have some interesting shit to say about Far Harbor. Definitely take Valentine. Yeah. You gotta go. We gotta go back no, to town. I mean, we're doing the witch thing. Oh first, yeah, let's take her so. for the witch thing, then. Yeah. I don't know, dude. You're the one that put the buttons on the map. Yes, that way. You think Panda will hop in? I know he's <clears throat> blowing you up on Discord. Don't know. Oh yeah, did you tell Discord we were starting? Because it'll alert them in email. Um, no. I can. Hmm. On break, maybe. If that's in my way. Uh-oh. 
Hey, buddy. You could have lived, but we have places to be. Get some, motherfucker! <laughs> No one, no one talks to Birdie Droper that way and lives. Excuse us, young man. Wash your mouth out with serrated blade. He's grounded forever. How dare you? Last time he calls me a motherfucker. Or anyone for that matter. That motherfucker. <laughs> Goddamn firework. It wouldn't surprise me. It's a week and a half till 4th of July. That means it's fireworks season. No, it was thunder. But it's we live in the south. It wouldn't surprise me if there wasn't some moron out there. It wouldn't surprise like, me if it was gunshots. No. I hate this state. Can we discover this? Come on. No, no discovery. Give me the rads. Discover it. There. Oh shit! Wow, you had to go all the way in. Wink. Gimme. Mr. Handy Model Kit. Shh, we're trying Guys to listen. Don't me anymore. That's good. I think it's... What was that? Uh, attacking a bad guy they now. Read the signs. Won't be able to pick I think this. it's time I go. No, it's time to lay down. I can't. Yes. The guys would never let me. Of course. I could kill them my bed. Oh, Ada was killing the no, robot. That was a lot of radiation in a very short period of time. Where? Uh, gone. Apparently she's just always going to get super excited to see you. There's no escape. So the puppy loves to see everyone, but she doesn't love to see anyone as much as she loves to see our oldest child. <laughs> he could leave the room for like 20 minutes and she would act like he'd been gone for 10 years. And she's got a big old whip tail, so all you can hear is What are you doing? I gotta get inside. There you go. The Museum of Witchcraft. It's gonna be awesome. Museum of Deathclaw. You don't know if Deathclaws are witchcraft. They're science. That's a kind of witchcraft. Only the stupid people. <laughs> that's all that's left. Uh, hello, we hear you. Eh, it won't attack me until I'm upstairs, so yeah. whatever. I guess it's to give you warning in case you want to get out. I'm supposed to scare the shit out of you. We've just done it already. Sweet. Not in this playthrough, but you yeah. get the idea. In general. Did you tweet out that we were starting? No, I didn't. You got a notification. Yo. Oh, our son didn't even get a notification saying that we had started. Thanks, Twitch. I should take a second. Yeah, there's nobody in here except for Jack, and I think he just came in to drop us a... A lurker. Yeah, a lurk. Which is fine, a level lurk, but... I'm not gonna bitch about lurks. Lurk, lurk. Did you stop trying to lay on the laptop? No. <laughs> I have to. Every time. Is your food ready? She just punted him right in the face. Yeah, I guess you could say something on Discord, too, since... I am. Okay. Are you in the Discord, son? Are you in our Discord channel? Yeah. And... Motherfucker. What just happened? Oh, now I got the notification. Oh, now he's got the notification. 
What's wrong button? Just lost power at the office. Oh, again? Like, it's, are you guys on like the wafer thin edge of an electric circuit? Like, yeah, power in that building is awful. Can you go put the right screen back up over there for me? Yes, Kasumi, stop trying to lay on that. Because there's two. What'd you do? Hmm? What'd you do? I didn't touch it. I Like, for whatever, did you fix it? What, that took a restroom break? No. Oh my goodness. Go eat your food. Just alt tab. No. Ooh. Went for a little earthquake ride there. All right. Let's just push them all on buttons all over the damn place. It is now okay. tweeted and discorded. Sweet. All right, let's get going then. All the stuff has happened. <laughs> You've done all the things? Well, I'm checking the weather again because it's getting kind of dork. I mean, I know the sun's going down, but it shouldn't actually go down for like another hour and a half. Hey, somebody's here. Hello. It's going down. Getting no. real low. There ain't no hulks here. It's upstairs. There is a hulk here. Oh, I thought you meant like in our house for a second. I was like, wait, what? There's no freaking hulk in our house you goddamn liar oh yeah i can see why the power went out in your office it's just uh not gotten to us yet so again if we disappear april came late hey oh. it's gods above lurking see your main ada float what excessive american disabilities act float Gods above said, see your main ADA float. But he's lurking, so I can't even ask him what he means. Ada. Float. Oh, Ada. Jesus. For, I, but he did it all caps, so like a, it looked like an acronym in my defense. It probably is an acronym. Yeah. Yes, we made Ada. Um, that was unnecessary. Why are we suddenly in a horror game? Did somebody cut the eyes out of those mannequins? Yes, at least the lady. Ugh. I think we need to take some drugs about it. Yeah, I think we need. To, there's ghosts in our blood. We need to do some cocaine about it. Because there's probably monsters. All right, just you want to do some jet about it. Shit, we took our drugs too soon. Go, go, go. Uh, oh, hello. Come get you some. There it is. Savage death. Well, that seems unnecessary. Okay, good luck, babe. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. Time to... Ada, get the fuck in here, lady. What are you doing? Me? Bye. Crit. Next time. Next time. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ow. Oh, shit, he's breaking everything. Shit, motherfucker. Alright, you got this. Crit. Yeah. Eat shit, Deathclaw. <laughs> Alright, so maybe we eventually will be able to take out the Mire Alert Queen with enough drugs. Yeah, we'll just do drugs about it. Yeah. Hey, Casey. 
Casey comes in and goes, Aw, shit, it's the Death Claw house. Time to steal a baby and make an omelet. <laughs> baby omelet. Yeah, before you got in here, I was like, maybe Bertie Draper's just lost, or Bertie Draper's just lost her mind. She can't find her son, so she's going to adopt a Death Claw baby and make it her own. I like how I've just got Cthulhu, like, creeping over the corner tonight. He looks like he's rising like the sun. Or like Cthulhu out of the sea. Yes. A sea of couch that cushions. Oh man, that sounds awesome. But you probably anymore. just suffocate. Smash to bits. Except this one. Yeah. Yeah, our son says it'd just be like those foam Tell pits at the, the trampoline place. If I'd known, I would have personally. Oh, what if that was like the form liquid took? Was like a jello y substance. And globs. You'd have to like eat it, like take a bite of water. I don't like it. No, like jello. They stole her damn kids. Christ. Maybe. They actually have those. They're called water balls. It's supposed to. And if you if you Google water ball, it's this oh, thing they've invented. That's it looks like it's literally like, it's like a raindrop of water, only huge, and it's supposed to be um, edible. So it's like biodegradable. Like so, you drink it, and then if you throw the skin away, it biodegrades, or you can eat it. I think it's something that like Japan came up with. Yeah, so we're doing the witch house because we're on our way to Far Harbor. But don't worry, we're gonna go back and get um Hey Russell, welcome to the chat and thank you for the two hundred bits. Bit shower. It's a bit shower of a unicorn coming out of a rainbow heart, which is just about the coolest damn animated emoticon I've ever seen. Oh no! Our husk, yeah, our our baby thinks the laptop is a wall and she keeps trying to lay on it and then be like, what? When it almost falls off the couch. She's a baby and babies are dumb. I think I can go turn that in now. You gotta, yeah, complete delivery of the egg or return egg to nest. I feel like B Birdie Droper would return egg to nest. She understands what it's like to be a mother missing its baby. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Damn it. <laughs> um, God's above is any other chat member. I'm not really sure how your chair your Russell's cheer shared rewards to three others in the chat, but I don't know what that means or how it happened. I don't know what that means. Yeah. If anyone knows what that means, please let us know. We're still a uh, new to this Twitch thing, and I legit don't know how Russell giving us bits gave you guys rewards, but that's pretty fucking cool. Stick to the roads, and you and what are these you. rewards? Dangerous world out there. Good thing too. Otherwise, no business to dock. Am I right? Casey yeah. is surprised we didn't go full Nightmare that. Raider Terminator I got for Ada <laughs> with her screaming robot skeleton face. I don't even, didn't even know that was an option. I don't think I have. That yeah, I don't mod think we already. have that mod. That's gonna need to be set back in place. Let's get started. Oh, he got a new Gods Above got a new emote for Russell giving cheers. And that's that. It's a an emote of um, a pride symbol. Oh, it's like a pride high. I'm gonna have to Google that on break and see what that's all about. That's pretty neat. Better care of yourself in the future, okay? Doc. Doc Weathers is guaranteed to patch up any bruises, uh, holes, and diseases you've picked addicted? up. But I ain't got no fix. Um, I think that's what that red. Maybe. Oh, is that what the red pill actually. means, Casey? You Are we addicted caps? to drugs? Do we do? Do we do too much cocaine about the ghosts in our blood? I did all the drugs. <laughs> there were ghosts, damn it! They were in our blood. Take my shitty ammo. <laughs> Alright. 
to the north. -ish. North ish. So, do you own this place yet? No. I was about to say, because if it does, if you did, you need to fix it, because it looks like a shithole. <gasps> Maybe that's what I can do while you're gone with your family for the, uh... Build stuff? Yeah. We can have... We can have, uh, us a good old, uh... Build defenses and set up a network of traders all the time. My favorite thing in the world. I'm not even joking. That's my favorite part of this game. Everything I do is so that I can make my trade routes better and my settlements prettier. <laughs> Russell says, I wasn't picking up the difference between cheers and emotes. We're as lost as you are, dude. It's all Greek. It's all Greek to me. But I know when you cheer us, when we when you give us bits, that's like tipping us. Yeah, technology is hard. <laughs> Oh, so you can give cheers to other people in the chat instead of Okay. I'm not I'm just not going to worry about it right now. I'm sorry if you accidentally spent money on something you weren't trying to spend money on. <laughs> I was about to say like did you give everybody $2? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> Here's I a don't... $2 emoticon. Don't spend it all in one place. I don't place. think you can give yeah, I don't think you could give money to just yeah, whoever. I don't, I don't think you can give money. This is what happens Unless when you let you old give people them, stream. Like, bits that they can use in the stream, but I don't. I, I don't, don't know. I don't know. One, I don't know why that would be a feature, and two, I don't know why anybody would use it if it was. Because when you use bits, you get your name on the leaderboard. Yeah. So if you gave bits to other people to use then, then all that's of a sudden like they're on the leaderboard. Yeah. Unless you get credit for that. In which case, why wouldn't you just do it all? Any I don't know. It doesn't oh, make no. Sense. Russell meant to. He says, no, I meant to. I just thought the emotes were only under cheers. There are far more emotes than cheers. Okay. Okay. I see what you mean. Jay still does it. Yeah, no, I have no idea. <laughs> He's like, like I can feel the confusion radiating off of him. <laughs> hey, we just wanted to give you your egg back. They tried to take it. You're welcome. Don't kill us. She couldn't if she tried. I'm a monster. Don't forget to go get Valentine. It's so close to level. For a second I was like, why the shit are you such a low level? But then I was remember I was thinking about your other your other character. <laughs> I was like, what happened? 26 is not terrible. No, but it's not 47. Or whatever you are now. Yeah, I think I'm 47. No, I'm 45. Oh. 45. I had 45 last night and 76. It's too... What? It's too many numbers. Oh, good. You go sleep. Still all junk. Get fucked. <laughs> mm, I can take drugs to... Cure my drugs. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you had drugs. All right, Thunder, you can just fuck off. Ah, drug free. Hey, yes, and rad free. Why is she all like having a rave? You need to fix her? Is she broken? Wait there. Understood. Please be careful, man. Here you are. I hope these help. What? Why did she just. Give you garbage. I don't know. Well, it's sad. I really don't know where he is. Ring the bell, as Panda tried would that say. Last time. Oh shit! What is happening? Oh my God, Russell! Russell, no! What? 
Russell just gifted subs to five people in the channel. Damn, so. dude. Dude. That's awesome. Dude. Thank you. Like, big time. Thank you. That's insane. Russell. Thank you, but, like, I feel like I might. No, just thank you. That's amazing. No, I feel like I'm, like. I have eye makeup on. This is... You're number one. You're number one. You're number one. So let me say welcome, Moon, to the summoning circle. Welcome, evil robot Jeff, to the summoning circle. Welcome, Peachy Keen, to the summoning circle. Welcome, Gods Above, to the summoning circle. And, uh... Welcome, Rydrak, to the summoning circle. School. Holy shit. Russell says we should feel obliged to stream more often now. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. Yeah. Like, summer has really, uh, fucked our schedule up. But, we're, we've hit, I think we might be at 15 now. We need a new emote. I think this might have pushed us over. Russell may have pushed us to the, uh, the number of subs needed to unlock the next emoticon. Oh, shit. We're gonna have to get in contact with our artist. I told you to get with her like a month ago. I know, but like then we were just, you know, staying even, ago. which was, you know what? You could have done it. No, I couldn't have, because I don't know who you used and you had a specific artist. I'll reach out to her tonight when we're done. Thank you. Because next we're gonna do. I'm guessing Valentine's back in his agency, even though I told his ass to go to Sanctuary. It's completely possible. So, we're gonna go find out. Because he didn't come when I rang the bell. That synth hippie. Russell says, I've created more work for you. My job here is done. No, that means no. you guys get an awesome new emote. Yeah, we're like, so you like. just, I think, I'm pretty sure that 15 we get a second emote. Yeah, we do. We do. So like. Or is it a badge? No, it's an emote. We're going to do Cthulhu Rage. And instead of Cthulhu Cheering, it's going to be like red lasers coming out of his eyes. So it's got opposite emotions. Everybody can be happy, or everybody can be pissed. And then, like, we'll probably do, like, a Cthulhu... You know, we'll do a bunch of others eventually. I gotta look and see what the standard ones are. I know it's, like, like a mode of, uh, whatever, sipping juice. Only instead of juice, ours is gonna say souls on it. And there's usually, like, a no. Have to Google. I'll take a look. Sure. Excellent. I still can't believe you just did that, Russell. What the shit? Buy my shit. You're not going to sell all of it? No, when are you ever going to no, use I'm not. 10 millimeter rounds? Look at how many caps the robot has. Oh. Never mind. I see what. I see. The robot's now broke. <laughs> What's a robot need caps for? Hey, didn't you tell her to... Whatever. What now? I'm not convinced you've told me everything you know about Henry Cook's disappearance. Cool. Didn't I kill that guy? Um... Yes? I don't remember. He's dead. Is that so? What do you know about... I killed him. I thought so. Why should I let you live? Uh. Wait, those of you try to attack me, and I'll kill you. <laughs> Nobody points a gun at me. That's right, Birdie. <laughs> Get wrecked, Colette. <laughs> you <gonna> fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> God, no one points a gun at me. I think they're mad at me. I though. think the town is mad. Oh shit. Mm. You might not be able to come back here ever again. <laughs> what have you done? I don't know. <laughs> Russell says get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, serious. We wrecked her and now Diamond City will wreck us. Did nobody see her pull a gun on you? Yeah, yeah why are I'm they so mad? Myself. It was so she had a gun pointed at us. Maybe Diamond City is in 
Oh, Casey wanted to know if 76 is any better. He hasn't played in six months, but that came right before Russell gifted everyone in the world a sub, so I gotta... I thoroughly enjoy 76. But we, this is our first time playing it. We bought it for like 17 bucks three weeks ago. So uh, we don't have anything to compare it to as far as when it first came out. But yeah, we both have characters angry. and we're both enjoying it. They're all so angry. Well, you did defend yourself in their... I mean, is it fucked now? Like... It might be. Oh, Wellington, no! Idiot. Yeah, you, I don't... I think you just need to, like, run away. Or reset the fucking game. <laughs> I went out the way I lived. <laughs> So... Oh god, they're still so angry. Uh, I guess a quick save right there. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Groundhog's Day Hell. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know what you thought was going on. Russell says, you kill them, they kill you back. It's Law of the Wasteland. Why are they so mad? I mean... Maybe maybe it's because I attacked her instead of letting her, her shoot attack at me you. First. Yeah, you might have to load. <sighs> Being aggressive did not work in our favor. Oh, no. Back here again. It's just three minutes behind. Oh, okay. So I just gotta fast Teleport. travel back. Well, we learned something important today. I mean, it probably could have wiped out the town if I, like, smartly did it. <laughs> Not just let him, like, storm the gates. Russell says, Han shot first, Han runs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be like if the whole cantina turned on him and just started trying to... Like, if all of uh, Tatooine was like, I'm gonna murder you. I mean, I just take issue with the fact that they went after... She pulled a gun on me. Is this not a... Uh, Russell said he killed Greedo. Yeah, Greedo is a native son of Tatooine. I don't think... No, you think not. they would have had a reason to be angry? I don't think the Rodirians are native to Tatooine. But Greedo is, because episode one made it so. Because he was there when Anakin did oh, the pod right. racing. <laughs> right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I don't think Tatooine has... Well, no, I guess the... Uh... The Tuscan Raiders are the native species. All right, since we know she's gonna try and my son from the other room. What Star Wars? Since we know that she's gonna try and get up in business, let's uh, let's do some drugs about it, boost up our charisma, and maybe like talk her down, and then kill her when she goes back to her house. Wow, you know, uh, Casey says they're called Gorfa, you galactic colonizer. I thought uh, Sand People was their slave name, not Tuscan Raiders. I was trying to be progressive. <laughs> I didn't want to call them Sand People. I thought that was mean. I didn't even know they were called Gorf. What the fuck do they look like? Does anyone know? Is, the, is there a canon? What? Is... Same with Jawas. We have no idea what Jawas look like. Are both, but apparently they're called Gorfa. Yeah, we don't know what either. Like... Oh, Casey says they might just be called Gorfa in Legends, so for I forgive your ignorance. Russell says, uh, they're Tuscan natives. Fair. Hold up. Calling them raiders does seem kind of cruel. <laughs> they just want humans to get the fuck off their planet. Everything you know about Henry Cook's disappearance. 
Did you do enough drugs about it? He's dead. I didn't have any Is to that take. So? Oh no. What do you know about it? Just try to I killed him. I thought so. Why should I let you live? Apologize? What if I don't tell you? I hate smart asses. You're not yeah. walking away from me. Okay. Yeah. Let Ada handle it. Oh, come on. Oh, what the fuck, Percy? Oh no, you must have to be able to talk her down. Oh no, Jesus Christ. Oh Mo, you're getting it. <laughs> Russell says, I always wondered if in Star Wars Earth invented white people. Yeah, did we send them there? Or me, I always wondered if, like, Earth was from Star Wars. Like, it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, like, maybe a ship full of Star Wars galaxy humans got lost and populated Earth. You know, like Battlestar Galactica shit. Uh, there is actually something that suggests that Earth is, in fact, real in the in Star, Star Wars, Wars universe. universe. It would be beyond wild space, yeah. though. But there's some mention of it somewhere. Casey wonders how it is just now happening now that Diamond City has turned on you. <laughs> you know what? Because Bertie Droper does not make waves. She just wants her son back. But you know, she won't start a fight, but she's gonna fucking finish one. <laughs> Don't bring a gun to a knife fight, bitch. <laughs> You're gonna use a. Oh my god! That's what he gets for trying to hide in the corner. You're gonna use a stim pack, or are we just dicking off to see how far you can get? A little bit of both. You know what? I think we're beyond the point of caring about stealing. <laughs> Shut up, Ada. No one cares. You know, we just wanted to pick up Valentine. It didn't have to go down like this. I didn't do it. For once, I didn't do it. Casey says, isn't Alderaan supposed to be their Earth equivalent? Yeah, our son thought Naboo was. But no, I, don't, I think Naboo is closer, because I don't know if Alderaan is a single biome planet or not. Nick. But I know Nick, that Nick, I Naboo need a lawyer. <laughs> He's not a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can detect me a, a solution to this problem. Casey then. says, wait, why are you looting things? Are you not reloading this save? I don't know. It depends on if Nick is in here or not. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. He's, he's not. not. He's in fucking the other town. You just have to ring the bell. I did ring the bell. Casey says, you're gonna actually face the consequences for your actions as you hit the reload button. I mean... <laughs> I thought about it, but everybody started giving me crap, so. I hopes. I don't think, I like, that's possible, Russell, but I think it's more of a, like, they were going somewhere, and, like, the ship got knocked off course, and they crash-landed on Earth, and then they had to live with pointed sticks and animal skins, because all their technology was gone. <laughs> but they could have also just been, like, fuck the Force and the Empire, we want to go live like space hippies. <laughs> When you were a you... racist, sir. Get out of our town. You should put a sleeping bag outside on the ground and assign you, him to you it. You were going to be a supply line to... Where was the place he said that he just said he hated? Good neighbor. Where's... Uh, I don't have that... The... The slog, so I can't send him there, which is no. also a ghoul run area. Um... Uh, Yeah, get out of here. Piss off. Damn asshole. Depending on when you sent Nick to come to town, he might not be here yet. I sent him a long time okay. ago. Maybe he just decided he didn't like you. Entirely possible. Nice little town you got going, though. 
14 people. What the shit? It's, uh, what's her face? Why is she still here? She's gonna hang out. But now she's gonna be on a supply line. You're going I hate your supply line system. Why? Because you're sending everybody from the one place up in the far left corner to everywhere. Instead of being like, send it to Red Rocket, and then send a Red Rocket person here, and then when you get to the center, do like a radial wheel. I just sent them because they were aggravating me. I know. Seriously, I rang the damn bell. No, I just hate his version of Supply Lines, Casey. No, you Casey. just hate how I play games. Get over it, woman. Did we ever confront the mechanist as the silver shroud in any save we've done? No. No. Do you get something different if you do? Does she stay in character? That'd be great. I don't want to be... We're going to be queen of the raiders. Just not yet. We got to get our son. I'm not going to finish the main campaign before I go to Nuka World. Oh, well then we're going to get distracted from saving our son to become queen of the raiders. Damn right. Hey, panda. Welcome to the chat. It's, it's a panda. A Panda did it. Oh no, he did what you did. Pan yeah, I did that in my first game and Sanctuary became a clusterfuck of Brahmin and traitors by the end of it. Yeah, See? in my first game, I did the same thing, only I had a wall out front. <laughs> oh my god, I remember And oh, the, god, like a pile of Brahmin would just get stuck trying to get through like a double door, you know, gate. And they're just like twigging out and teleporting and like disappearing into the earth and like all kinds of shit. One of them ended up on top of this house. Like, it was wild. Like, I don't know where Valentine is. He's just, he's gone. Like, I think he died somewhere. Apparently, uh, you get full-on supervillain versus hero monologuing if you go in as the Silver Shroud. Oh, it's nice. glorious. Russell says, do you say what the shit as in motherfucking Macy's sale? Yes, because we're Bertie Droper. What the shit? It's a motherfucker. In Macy's sale. Uh, I say what the shit like from the Matrix. That's my phone. What? What's the, what the shit? That's my phone. Uh, what? I don't remember that line. And Neo's running away from Mr. Smith after beating his ass for the first time. Mm -hmm. He snatches the dude's cell phone out of his hand. Businessman looking guy. Ah. Dude goes, what the shit? That's my phone. He took my phone. And as Neo keeps running off. Ah. Panda says, can you make a community Maybe management console? Something. I don't know. Can I? Oh, Panda, guess what? What the hell's a community management console? And why do I want one? <laughs> Seems like horse shit. Or panda shit. Is Panda says it will uh, give you an option to track specific NPCs in your community. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Is it's that a real thing or is it a mod? Yeah, because if it's a mod, no. What were we doing? We were doing something, weren't uh, we? I was doing all kinds of shit, but I need armor maxed out for ballistic weave, so. Do it. It's not written. It said I had to level. Or, no, right, because we... We undid it. Save. Damn it. Yeah. It's a real boy. It's under your electronics workshop, Panda says. All right, cool. Because then we it. can find Valentine. Oh, where are you? Yeah, but guess what, Panda? Electronics. Jay has got to go do family shit tomorrow. He's going to go watch his niece in a play. Electronics. She's going to be a... Uh, power, you mean? I think you mean power. Um, but anyway, he's not going to be here, so I'm going to be right. streaming by myself. And he, before you got here, he gave me permission. Uh, population management system. You got to call it the right thing if you're going to call it anything. He uh, gave me permission to do some building. So tomorrow uh, we're going to. Actually, but go for it. Tomorrow, you didn't not give me permission. <laughs> when I suggested it, you didn't immediately go, no! So we're gonna build some defenses and fix the uh, the supply lines tomorrow, and then we'll probably do some other stuff with a different game. Yeah, that's right. Panda says you failed to properly forbid it. <laughs> I've forbidden it several times now, but 
It's not sticky. It's just not going to matter. So, <laughs> so fuck it. I'm tired. This is how it really works. This is how marriage compromise happens. You just got to wear the other one down. Yeah, compromise. That's what it was. That's the word. <laughs> It's compromised because I won't use all your mats. I'll go farm a bunch of wood before I log in for the stream so that I'm not using your shit. Casey says, you come back, find replacement robots for everyone. We've joined the Institute and we're smooching with Paladin Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Dance. He's a means to an end. That coat. That glorious coat. Is that... He's a cute Buzz Lightyear boyfriend, Casey says. Guess I need another Jenny. Jenny. For a second I was like, who the fuck is Jenny? And I was like, oh, right. Damn it, I need science. <laughs> the, the jealous girlfriend jumped out. Like, not even joking. That's a lot of power lines. It seems really unsafe. No, that's good. You have power. I gave you power. <laughs> you're, you're hooked up to power power. <laughs> Maybe you have to disconnect it and reconnect it? Why is it so mad? There. There. It just wanted to be special. I have never once oh, this used is fantastic. this. Fantastic. I didn't even know this was a thing. What the fuck? Oh man. Dog meat? I can find dog meat. Wow, now you have a quest to go find him. Oh, I'm gonna find him. Yeah, see, he's not even here. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Why are you there? <laughs> Why is he... <laughs> is he a good neighbor? No. no, that's not him. Where the hell is he? No? no. Okay, good. I'm glad that wasn't him. Dude, where the shit is he? Is that him? No. No. Bitch. Fuck. Turn off the others. Like, wait, it's acting like he's there. You can do your own vault experiments, Russell says. Once per week, I'm causing everyone's anus to expand by one millimeter. <laughs> Until they all shit themselves in unison. <laughs> Free fertilizer? I guess. You gotta boil that frog, yeah. Slowly. <laughs> Casey says, knowing vault tech, you'd end up with a black hole or portal <laughs> technology like Aperture Science. Yeah, that's the merger we need, is Aperture and, and uh, vault tech oh, teaming up. That's, sound, that's a nightmare. No one wants that. Yeah, Everyone just, disliked that. That's best case scenario. Huh? Are you Valentine? <laughs> Valentine! No, there's no way he's in there. Oh shit, that's a lot of bad guys. Where's Valentine? <laughs> Did they hang him? Uh, 
Uh, what the? Oh, oh shit. no! Why? Where did you? Did he jump down from the overpass? He absolutely did. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> How I love <laughs> Casey level. says, did somebody say Nuka World? I thought I heard somebody say Nuka World. No, we're doing Far Harbor. I don't think I'm ready for Nuka World. Yeah, we're not sure. We're only 26, dude. Everything I read online recommended uh, 45, which seemed a little high to me, but um, I remember the gauntlet uh, and is, we're is pretty rough. But, uh, yeah, it was a bitch slapping contest. We won. I don't think you can jump down from Hell here. Hell no, I can't. I'm not in power armor. How the fuck did you get up here? Fast yeah. travel? Why would it fast travel you up here? Because I'm looking for Valentine. I don't have the answers. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn off every quest we have. Okay. I think that's everything. Where are you? He's right. a good neighbor. Yeah. That's what I thought. Why is he a good neighbor? I told him sanctuary. Maybe this is his sanctuary. He's a synth, not a ghoul. <laughs> Panda says, but you need to go there while you're still young to get the full experience. <laughs> Listen. Right, hold up there. First time in good neighbor. Why did we go here you if walking around without insurance? Are you fucking serious? You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. Oh, you hand honey. over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big. I'm about to piss off the entire town again. Someone steps through the gates on those times, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. Thanks, Thank you, honey. Hancock. She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. I love <laughs> Russell says, listen, buddy, you're gonna get a lot more than a millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Cox the shit. Just gonna. You all right, sister? Yeah. Can you flirt with him? Thanks for. Are we gonna have this conversation again about whether or not ghouls have dicks? Your view of our community. Good neighbors are the people for the people. You feel me? They were people. But like his nose fell off. Like that's like the first thing that falls off, and it's all cartilage, and that's why it falls off. So long and a dick is all cartilage, so here go. Would it fall off? I love you, Hancock. Okay. Oh yeah. It's Cleo. Sure. Let's take a look. A gun for every. Yes, yes. Let's do this. Buy my shit. Russell says, when I played, Hancock wouldn't quit hitting on me. And I was like, look, buddy, I'm with the jailbait news girl. <laughs> Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone who likes it. What? Fuck you. Nobody tells me what to carry. <clears throat> I will say it. People keep trying to kill me in the middle of towns. Why would you be concerned about my knowledge of penis anatomy? I'm married to a man and I have a son. Like, I had to take care of his penis when he She's was very seen small. A minimum of two peni. I have seen a minimum of two peni. 
in a variety of situations and levels of like investment. We're gonna steal your dress later, bitch. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. Well, Russell says there's no cartilage. It's a system of fluid-filled bladders. I don't know. <laughs> ooh, ooh, is it? Oh, oh, this is happening. Aw. Aw. Where's her dress? Bitch. It's only at 49%. I wouldn't do it. Russell says, damn it, public school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to Google this now. Nick. Baby's dreaming. No, He's making little piggy grunt you noises. With me. Is up to. He's trying to force the story to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> no, you follow me, dick. See what Amari is up to. Doctor Amari? Yes. Yes, I know you. What's this all about? Stop. Yoink, 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 yoink. Oh, Panda says you have to get her to wear another piece of clothing to get her dress in the inventory. So I gotta put other clothes into her inventory. Do you need clothes? Like, I could just give her a hat or something? <laughs> Are you going to say something or not? We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. Please don't ask me about my cool-ass helmet. <laughs> but you pulled off the impossible before. Are you so mad? Panda says, I'm not sure if, Pan if NPCs will equip different clothing in Fallout 4. That's a trick from uh, the TBS, the Elder Scrolls. ...require intact, living brains to function. God, it's a cool Please. ass hat. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this. So <laughs> Russell says it reminds him of uh, that James Bond scene where the woman in the tub no asks for something to wear and Sean Connery Do hands her a pair of high heels. <laughs> Here's what I could find. What's Here's what I dug this out of his skull. Brain. This is Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Uh, those sure. Those look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brain's Isn't still good? <laughs> Is he still compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. <laughs> do you have some better skin while you're in there? No idea. <laughs> yeah, seriously. We got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. No. I don't want to do all like this. <laughs> like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? No choice. Let's see here. Like how she doesn't even have to take his I hat off. To keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Hmm. Score. Hell yeah. Life changing cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashing. Static, I should say. Can't make sense of any of it, Tom. That's what I was afraid of. You're gonna have to go in. All because we want to take him to, to Far Harbor. There's Some bullshit, Nick. How do you lock memories? The implant is encoding all the mnemonic activity in the hippocampus. What? Think of it like computer encryption. And we don't have the password. Let's see. A single mind wouldn't be able to crack it, but 
What if we use two? Why does that make any sense? Well, I guess we're having to move forward with this. God. Thanks, Nick. Damn it. Thanks for not going to Sanctuary like I asked you to. Panda says you're not going to use Longfellow for Far Harbor? No, we thought we'd take Nick since he's a synth. Who the and it's fuck all... is Longfellow? I don't think we have him yet. I don't know who it is at all. I'm trying to remember Ooh, where you're getting. I'm not ready for this, Doc. Okay, but I need to keep Mr. Valentine here. Damn it! Until you're ready. I don't want him moving around with that implant still attached. <laughs> They're like, no, you're getting in here. We're doing this shit. Well, I can't do Far Harbor without Nick. Oh, you meet Longfellow in Far Harbor. Nah, we're gonna take Nick. I want to see what it's like for Synth to meet other Synths that are like him-ish. So we gotta do this thing. Yeah. Fuck! <sighs> I level? No. Yes. I gotta be 31. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I don't worry about that just now. There was something with intel, wasn't there? Yeah, science. Yeah. Jesus, it's gonna be a while. You're kind of dumb. You can't even hack? My lord. Gotta have an intel of six. Need three points in it, then. Oh my god. Unless you want to look for where the bobblehead is. I want bloody mess and better criticals. Oh. Well, you want a lot of things, so you have yeah, to I pick. Do. No. Well, you have to prioritize then. 29 per second thing of blitz. All right. That's close, at least. All right, until it is. <gasps> it's boring, but useful. I'm gonna intel it up. Gonna make myself the smarts. The smart. Gordy Droper's no dummy. <laughs> Except for this whole debacle. Yeah, this is just a nightmare. Damn it. All right, well, um, I'm gonna pause. Okay. P, and then I guess I'm gonna go inside Nick's head. Which is really Kellogg's head. It's Inception. Yeah, so y'all know the rules. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Get a drink, bathroom, snack, whatever.
All right, we're back. Oh. So I confirmed it. I looked at the uh, the stats while we were on break, and we have hit the limit. We can officially get a new hey, emote. Valentine. So I will be reaching out to our artist this evening that. to get Cthulhu Rage yeah. going in the works. Amari, we can't get to the memories in that implant. There's a lock. How do you lock him? The implant is... Yeah, yeah, yeah we've been through this part. He lacks the... Do it. I'm not Damn ready it. for this. Okay, but... <laughs> Damn. Damn. Your subconscious is like, no, just go to Fire mm -hmm. Harbor. How do you lock memories? The implant. Let's see. Reload. He lacks the host. Yeah, yeah. All right. Good job. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. Don't tell me what to do. I've killed for less. One more. Whichever. Both. Which one are you sitting in? <laughs> Please stand by. For what? This isn't what was popular in the future sixties. Fifties. Future fifties. Russell says I had better be exactly the same diameter when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did wear my brown pants, so things could be worse. Uh-oh, where's the baby going? Can you hear me? Oh, she's hungry. Oh, good. The oh yeah, the simulation's work, working. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Yeah, yeah. We can at least try to power through this. Okay, the game will stop. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. I was supposed to say, pitch where? Nothing like running across some neurons. are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it okay. was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. <laughs> I never knew what happened I to her after I can't power through her. this. I didn't want to know. Not that. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? It's kind of sad that the earliest accessible memory is I when think he's now like she nine. Me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really. I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Hey, no, don't light on the laptop. How many times do we go over this? Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but I never really knew what he did. Don't know why mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. Mm, what a joke. What's it you, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. Uh. Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough to kill. Nine's old You're enough to kill. Now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's maintenance. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. 
The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. So why didn't she you kill him? Learn to use it if you're going to survive. I, I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. Duh. There yeah. Appears to be Why'd you make us watch so much before you figured that out, bitch? There. Try that one. Yeah, babe, try that one. Running, running, running. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. It's true. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. I'm not saying this is a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections, I mean. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the sheep. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. Yeah, give it to her. But, yeah, give her the gun. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. You're not we gonna are. be with her 24-7, we'll bitch. See. You need to get her a gun. That's okay. I got it. When you already access He's looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Oh my god. Like jaunting through his brain is taking forever there. Brain jaunt. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Badly. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Yeah, Kellogg. Son, can you just help so you know, the puppy, please? They died like dogs. Go with her. And you weren't there to help them. Yeah, because you didn't give her a gun. Another memory to try. I'll connect you. I'll connect you. Please hold. Uh, please hold. How did you think this was oh. going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> Russell goes, I'm walking on sunshine. Whoa. <laughs> and a time to feel good. And don't hit feel good. Whatever. Mind if we sit down? Yes. So. There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, usually dead, dead was usually what they wanted. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. Did she come in? You gotta stay out there until she comes in. She'll eat mushrooms and get poisoned so, again. Um, I hear you'll take care of people. Did she potty? Then um, she can just come in. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. Yeah, I, so... Last we'll Friday, she was time. really sick, and we didn't That's know right. what it was. We pay you. No, Ahsoka's fine. Um, That's 
but we thought maybe she had just eaten too much or it had, that it she was just that. sick um, yeah. because she was fine the next day. There's his family. Lived down and the then creek. yesterday she was violently well, ill again to be getting closer. all Cuts day. Like, couldn't even keep down water, was shaking, uh, dry heaving toward the end, pitiful really. She's so sad. Um, but then by evening she was totally fine and was eating. And so the only thing we could figure is we had Glad some white capped mushrooms in the yard. So, uh, and I looked them up and they're green spored umbrellas or some shit. And they're poisonous. Sister. Like not deadly, but they'll what make you, you feel really disgusting. You so we're pretty sure her dumb ass ate some mushrooms twice. Every single one of her symptoms was a symptom of, of eating these mushrooms. Yeah. So this now we have stop. mushroom patrol. And apparently That's they're the most common thing to kill dogs out in the yard. Due to their own stupidity. Yeah, not this particular mushroom, just mushrooms in general. No, this particular oh, this mushroom. mushroom. Oh. Because they're very common yard mushrooms. Okay. And apparently they smell good. Yeah. So, you know, produces a, a, a scent that dogs pick up on very easily. But neither of the older dogs have eaten them, ever. Nope. But, um, yeah, so now she can't go outside alone. And in the mornings when I let her out, we do mushroom patrol. Impressive. Make sure there aren't any sticking up out of the grass. Getting her dumb ass is a puppy. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic. And we've had those mushrooms every year because last year we got one that was so massive and in the dead center of the yard that we called it the king shroom. It, seriously, it was like by the time the umbrella opened all the way up, it was the size of my face. King shroom! Yeah. But our other dogs have never had any interest in eating shrooms. But when Kasumi's outside, she'll put anything in her mouth. Like her favorite thing in the world right now is to dig rocks out of the mud and then put the rock in her mouth and suck the, the mud one. off of it yeah. like it's a fucking piece of candy. It's gross. It's okay. gross. Puppies are gross. Just like human babies. Oh hey, it's Almost. it's your baby. Everything's gonna be okay. He's got the baby! All right, now Ahsoka wants to I come in. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you time. The Trelequest, he didn't even need to open his mouth. God damn. Get the kid out of here. Let's go. Like he was barely conscious. It would have taken nothing. Dirty Drooper. Access that memory. <laughs> even then. <laughs> if it was a mistake leaving her alive. They understood that kind of revenge. No one better. Yeah, delicious mud but rocks. I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thought out. At least I know those institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them too. It except not. We're gonna she join could take them. Me out. They won't be able to hide from her for long. Hi, Kasumi. Hi, Ahsoka. I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just These need to confirm. Right, right. Everybody wants to see your butt. All right, we're good. <laughs> Russell I'm says, "Get your hands off my soft pre-war parts." <laughs> I found another intact memory. Hi, Kasumi. Whenever you're ready. Oh, I didn't even realize Corwin was back in the corner of the couch there. We got all three dogs. Stop walking on me. <laughs> Is that your son? Hey, Moon. This appears to be. A oh man, Moon movie. says uh, I gave blood today it and I've you. been drinking, so I apologize in advance. <laughs> well, welcome, and also welcome to the summoning circle. You were gifted a sub by Russell. Oh, that's, that's your son. Okay. He's got different hair, because we have different hair. Hard to 
you, your son always has the same hair color as you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. See, he wasn't blonde when we played our last playthrough. There was a big crisis this time. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Names, Dr. The new breed of sins. We were trying to start Far Harbor, but we want to bring Valentine with us, so Valentine forced us to do this story the quest. Coursers. They weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines. Pure and simple. Smarter. Stronger and faster. It's a perfectly than valid excuse. Any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. And says that he took the list of things you shouldn't do for 24 hours after giving blood as a challenge. <laughs> challenge accepted. Wow. The pets are gonna roll for this. That's right. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. Highly no classified. Kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Uh -oh. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. That's right. Don't tell us what to do. We're going to make poor decisions right idea, now. Actually. But it was one of the old man's pet it's our projects. Baby. So here it's we go. our were. baby. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It would be back to normal business before too long. Can you hand me my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. <laughs> No, come back. It's all over but the dream. Should they hold hands? Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. That's some Star Trek bullshit. And I can't get teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute. Moon says, because I mean, between no getting a pack of free cookies and a box of grape punch logical. versus this so buzz so I it. have off of one margarita, <laughs> let's be serious. <laughs> Did you make your own margarita? Is that it? Are we done here? This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Nice. It's a uh, Moon's Friday, so it's pitcher night in the Moon Cave. <laughs> moon Cave! See, now I'm imagining, like, the cave from Ferngully, and it's just, like, a starlit cave, and Moon's chilling in the water with a pitcher of margaritas. It sounds like a fucking ball in vacation. It's just the cryo room. Yeah, you gotta just exit, like, take the door, I think. I tried. It was like, fuck you, no? Oh. No, okay. not this shit again. Days, you're gonna get your head blown off just by the like Let us out. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Okay, I said that. Why? Why are we being punished like this? this New orders for you. One of our scientists. <laughs> Have you seen Virgil yet? No. no, no, he's way out in the slow EC. Yeah, it's all over but the crying. The pets are gonna roll for this. Capture and return? 
Just won't even let me skip it. Come on. He was working for the Welcome to hell. Program. No kidding. What are the top uh -oh. five of science boys? The baby might be attempting to scale the couch from the wrong side. I hit all the buttons. Something is happening. You broke it. We're dead. <laughs> oh, thank God. Let us out. I don't know what kind of side effects procedure might have had. No one's ever done it. Where is Nick? I'm okay, Doctor. Except you look like you're Thank you. drunk. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Yes. I saw Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. The man Your face I killed all jacked up. Night. He was a human being just like the rest of us, and he had reasons for being what he was, however cruel. Yeah, How thanks for the morality lesson, Fallout. Feel? It's convinced me I did the right thing. He was a ratted dog, and he needed to be put down. I suppose I can't fault you for that. We're getting off track. Yeah, let's, not, let's stop talking about your fucking trauma of your family being murdered and broken up. Done. <laughs> Boring. Kasumi wants to help you. Kellogg was supposed to track down Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Exactly. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That kind of makes sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like yeah. a shield or, or a cloak. Yes, thank you for explaining our own idea back to us. If Virgil found a way to survive She's there, you'll have to do the same. Doc splaining. <laughs> She's PhD splaining you. Kasumi's so mad. She wants to be up on the couch, but Ahsoka's in the way. Find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. It's called a hazmat mm. suit, bitches. Be safe. By the way, I Russell says, "Ma'am, could you quit and explaining at me, please?" <laughs> Ma'am, he's waiting for you upstairs. He better be. Yeah. All right, Valentine. We played your fucking game. She knows you're here. She's looking right at you. No, she doesn't see me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That shouldn't work. I don't understand. Do you have clothes on you to give her? Let's find out. Yes. Are you going to give her a hazmat suit? Yes. Yes. Well, I need to yes. Save. I don't I don't know why you think this is going to work. This is an Elder Scrolls. <laughs> She's not just going to be like suddenly like, "Why do I have a hazmat suit?" Twenty-one percent chance to steal. She, I don't believe that's ours to take. yeah, she's totally noticed you stealing it back. There was only a twenty-one percent chance to succeed there. Well, she didn't. She didn't see it. So, Valentine did though. He disliked it. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. Russell says object permanence was destroyed in the war. No one knows if anything has always been there or not. Are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did it was I? creepy. Uh, Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions what left. What the fuck was that? that? Anyway, I feel fine. Hello? Or I could head back to Diamond City. Kasumi, what are you doing in there? You got nothing. the yeah. She's got the I didn't do nothing face. Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a Did ride you not so do nothing? far. Did you not Let's do see nothing? where it takes us next? Send Ada to sanctuary. 
She's not going to go. She can Probably go not. She wants. Just go wherever the hell they want. <laughs> All right, to Far Harbor. Fucking finally. Hey. What's the yeah. plan? What's the Nick. plan? You got time to talk now? Yes. Is something the matter? Do you sound upset? What? Oh, right. no. Just been traveling a while now, and I figured they had All right, exactly so can we have a conversation about whether or not sense have dicks? Gotten a decent glimpse into your <laughs> dirty laundry. Well, the Gen Three, 3 ones have to. They're supposed to be. Yeah, they probably do. So maybe they, they did a like proto dick on Valentine. So, anything you That's called know? a dildo. <laughs> I mean, if it gets the job done. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories. Pre-war. No, but none of the other Native ones are like hat. him, Russell. He's the like he was the prototype between one and human on looking. So like he's a, a unique synth. So maybe he has Clothes unique the man and all that. Guess I add-ons. the man I wanted to be. What do you remember about the institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. Single test chamber was my whole world for years. And someone was always watching. That's creepy. Then one day, you wake up on the other side. And that's it. They cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world. With such people. <laughs> Russell says he can't myself. even keep his face skin intact. You think no, he can sick. manage a system of fluid-filled bladders? <laughs> Still mechanical, or not cartilage. Like <laughs> these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. My memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. Scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. I don't know why they chose to make a robot based she wants on to go some back OUT. cop instead of a math Kasumi. bioengineer. Just hey, being a butt. Maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. You're a robot? <laughs> The original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap. <laughs> Russell says she wants to go back out because she didn't get any tasty mushrooms with all these narcs around. <laughs> <laughs> Suffice to say, yeah, our, our carpets had enough. Yeah. Folks didn't like, really know much about synths back then. Way, so I, I think way we've enough. accidentally spot cleaned the whole downstairs <laughs> carpet. <laughs> Kids, Spot clean the pad. They weren't afraid. That pad Nicky's is just name was vomit covered. <laughs> first person to actually nastiness. speak to me after I got well, we're just gonna replace it with hardwood. So first fuck human it. contact in this yep. world thrilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't gonna hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. The local mechanic even gave me a once-over free of charge. Those people, they, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. It's something I've noticed you got a fondness for. You got flirt Part with of the us? Reason I've stuck around this long. I do what's needed. Well, you certainly seem to judge doing good pretty high on your list of necessities. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. No, you're the like the only person here that remembers the same shit we remember at least. Hey, you uh, got a sack? Another sick? You all right, Nick? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but uh, I guess we were supposed to well, be having these conversations along point. the way. And now it's going to force us to go through all of it before we can tell him, let's fucking go. Oh, we're doing it now. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad. They're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder. 
that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. Seems like a waste of energy. Just look at where humanity's gotten us. Well, that's easy for you to say. You don't have someone else's life trapped in your skull. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folk tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his, and I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, the home. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Yeah, babe, you're a good Thanks. friend. <laughs> Show me that robo penis. <laughs> there is this chunk of oh my God. history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. No. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Not now. Maybe. God damn. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the arc. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived the king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man. He did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming. So he As sealed they himself always inside do. a personal shelter located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Mm, sub shop. Your point being the story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death. Live forever. Mm. So he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experience. I mean, probably for the best considering all the other cryo people died. You've really done your homework on this guy. I have. I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. What? 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign. <laughs> Russell says he just wanted a decades-long masturbatorium. <laughs> well, that never happened. All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. Good. We have never now, done this quest. I know where Winter's vault have. is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. Russell says, are we not talking about the guy from New Vegas? Get all the numbers. Eddie get Winter? All the numbers, we get the code. I don't know. What is she sniffing? I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. You don't need anything that's down there. Including one of Winter. I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting sworn. Okay, so it's not something you have to do right now. My it's just a... tells me the Boston Police Evidence Terminals. All right, shut up, dude. We're going to fucking Far Harbor. Probably worth paying a visit to any of the departments you might have stumbled across. Finally, Jesus. Did you tell him to come with you? This is a quest to talk to him. Hey. You know something you need? How are we doing on the hunt for Eddie's tapes? 
Still looking. Still searching for him. Just let me know when you manage to get your hands on him. Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You're inside. Ooh. You're so mad you had to take out your sword. Sometimes you got to. Oh no, this is gonna end so poorly. Kasumi and Sheik are both in Ahsoka's kennel. No. Yeah, leave that kitty alone. <laughs> She does not want you. Small anger dog does not want you. Okay. Can you just like... You just found him. I don't think you have to talk to him. You found him. I was seeing if I had another quest, like... Because he's got that thing over his head. Yeah, because of that. What does that fuck off? I don't know. Panda would know if he's still in here. Delicious. <laughs> all right, all right. Getting out. Sumi, what are you doing? What you up to? You feel me? Yeah, you said it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big, friendly Commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted, unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Come on up to my office later. You've earned yourself. <laughs> oh yeah, free <laughs> drugs. <laughs> They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders, not the super mutants, not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to get McDonough's kick in the ass. <laughs> hey, it's true. We all know I got my own purpose. But you know, he's also a synth. But stay focused. Now I want everyone yep. to keep the institute. So hating Diamond City is really in their best interest. But people are doing things they don't normally do. Their family starts pushing you away for no reason. Who's behind that kind of shit? And the only way to stop steel, it is to stay out of good hands. They oh, can't that's control that's us if we're not afraid. Now, who's scared? I don't think that's true. Not not us. At which town in the Commonwealth did the Institute not fuck with? Good good neighbor. Neighbor. Yeah. What are you doing? Board running into a wall, <laughs> waiting for the horse shit to finish. Let's go. <laughs> to the witch museum. T to the witch museum? Okay. You want to explain what you're talking about? No. <laughs> I think I think you should. <laughs> Why? I hope everybody could hear that. <laughs> That's the nasty ass noise that I gotta listen to sitting next to the Doberman. <laughs> she compulsively licks herself, and it's disgusting. She won't fucking stop until she <laughs> she does it for like ten minutes. Right, Russell, because she can. 
It's Doberman as, as a breed actually have OCD. They can lick themselves so much that they lick hot spots under their bodies. So we've got to make her stop or she just won't stop once she gets going. Because we were stupid enough to buy purebred. She's a sweet baby, though. Well, hello, my lurk. Have you come to die? Uh-oh. Off that armor. Oh no. Shit. The ninja turtled. He did. When he opens up, go into vats. Yeah. Get wrecked, Murloc. For a second, I thought it only gave me four experience, and I was gonna be pissed. Nick, what gun still... do you have? Yeah, where are you? Oh, he's in the brush. Ah, uh, pipe revolver. Good stuff. You suck. Did, didn't give him. Tell him to use the other gun. You gave him like three guns. Unless he doesn't have it anymore. He should. Unless, yeah, doing the. Buddy, you got hey. you got the stuff we gave you. Hey, Valentine. Somebody What's up? Get off your chest. Relationship. Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Now, I'd say we're pretty darn good, considering what we're up against. But there's always more good to be done. Cool. Never mind. That's all for now. Shoot. All right, trade. Here's what I've got. Yeah, use the other guns, dumbass. Good God, he's got like a hundred thousand things. All right, fifty-five. I think the glow side of a rifle is what he was using. Yeah, I believe so. Does he have Go. any ammo for it? Sure. Just gonna find out. Yeah. Unless you get stuck on this fence. Nope. 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 Jesus. God damn it. Trump was right. <laughs> Walls are impenetrable. <laughs> when there's no ladders. Or hills. Or digging. Or planes. Or walking around them. <laughs> impenetrable. You forgot repelling. Oh. He's gotta do lots of arm day. Yep, that's not gonna do shit. It's not gonna do shit. He's... Was wrong. I'll take it back. I know. What? <laughs> what happens with a fucking ten strength? <laughs> Threw him like a frisbee. Shouldn't have pinchered me. Yeah, Nuka Cherry. What? No? Fine. Blasphemer. Thank you. Fine. Where the hell am I going? To Far Harbor? The Naka... The Nakano residence? How do you say that? Nakano? Probably Nakano. Not gonna work here anymore. <laughs> what? It's from office space. Yeah, just having a scuttle. Scuttling around like Mire Lurks do. You'd scuttle around if you were a Mire Lurk nothing. too. Shut up. <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong with that, you know? Whoa, whoa! Where were those guys going? Those dogs were like, no thank you. Oh. Hello. He broke your arm, stupid dog. <laughs> it 
Is that necessary? Uh, yes. Oh no, the humans are in on it now. What is Valentine? You did all that with a broken arm. Cause I'm great. You're gonna die. Cause I'm less than great. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> One. <laughs> two, two, three? No. One lived. Boomst. Oh. Well, he didn't live for long. They, they fucked you not. up, though. Nothing. I mean, maybe the combat armor. Maybe. Nope. Nope. And nope. nope. Assholes. All right, jamming. We be jamming. What? Did you just rescue those people? Yes. Sweet. Good job. Accidental hero. <laughs> Ryan says, I will beat you so hard you will make a ka -ching sound and prizes will fall out. <laughs> <laughs> can go this way. Shut up, game. I hate you. You're about to hit the end of the world. That fence is the end of the world. Game is like, seriously? Can't go this way. What are you doing, sir? Are you drunk? No. Are you tired? I am tired. <laughs> I forgot they had a real nice house. Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? gonna break into a knock knock bitch knock knock what's going on i uh, hope you don't mind <laughs> <laughs> wow nick thank god you need to get to work right away she could be hurt she could be whoa whoa slow down uh, kenji was it why don't you go over the details with me and my partner here what why partner? would he know Good. who the nick more is eyes the whatever. better so What's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back. Searching for some wow. sort of lost Wow, so he airline. remembers Nick and Nick is like, a who are you? Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Gross. Uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended. <laughs> oh, Sorry. right! You're the out. fuck up. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. Russell says <laughs> Nick is like, sorry, it, it said I needed to free up some storage. So. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. Kasumi was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. It's true. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. Are you sure I about that? I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. Uh, sorry about this, Kenji. Expenses and all that. Of course. How does 350 caps sound? Damn, baller. Sounds great. 
Because you have no charisma. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. Okay. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Investigate. Just I'm gonna go rifle through your shit. Oh. I'm gonna okay. hand you the controller you to take question. over this part. About oh, my okay. So I can go pee again and make another drink. Okay, sweet. I get to do the lore. All right. Um, we're gonna raid her room first. I'm just gonna. So this one's her room. Let's just let's just see what's in mom and dad's room. Sure, why not? Nah. This is uh. You guys can write these off in what I take. You can write this shit off in taxes. It'll be fine. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Shut up, Filament Nick. plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. They probably do, because they well, don't want to let you get them. Room. Let's see if she left any clues about where she went. Who gives a shit about clues? Robber blind. She ain't coming back. <laughs> Aww. So cute. Chest door, rocket ship. Nothing. Say anything. You. No. You. No. No. Okay, yes. Screw myself. Oh, there we go. Project log? Radio. Correction. Working. Radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Hmm. Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Give me that tape. Okay. All right, Project Russell, log. we'll see you next Great. time. You got, you're going to a Russell hacker meetup. Sweet. Go white hat it up. I keep having see you next time, dude. And thanks again for that party I platter for the summoning room. circle. Are we got to come up with our own like name for when people give subs. I just never intended for anyone to do that, so I didn't come up with a name for it. It's going to happen now, though. We'll see you next time, dude. of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God... I hope I don't have it again tonight. Give me the. I don't want the shopping cart. I want what's in. Ooh, bottle caps. I want what's in. Whoops. Nope. 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 It's a place of peace. Okay. Why are there so many. Whatever. So. What do we got in here? Garbage. What do we got in the... F I can't open the fridge, seriously? Fine. Oh, no! I picked up a shopping desk. I gotta quit taking my sword out. My fucking shopping desk. Whoa! Pork and beans, yes. That was ready to steak, yes. Project log, kitchen mixer. Mm. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, cousin. Do not worry. I have your list. You, you don't know what half that list is, Dad. I, I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I, I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. 
Okay, I didn't knock the lamp over. I only almost knocked okay. the lamp over. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. I love you so much, I'm gonna smother you with my that. love so you run away and never come back. Oh my god, there are tapes Project all over this goddamn Bob. house. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So, I guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi, your father needs help with the boat. Ugh. I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Am I recording that? Ugh. Uh, so many tapes. Project blog, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. <laughs> she also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. It's a kitty. Of course, she wasn't too Why happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Why uh, can't I pet the kitty? Off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but Come here, bitch. well, it's not Ready like Draper there's loves cats. any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start Birdie stripping the things Draper loves cats. Ugh, fine. Um. All right, I think that's all the tapes. Let's go listen to the parents. Let's, uh, give us Mrs. Some... Nakano, I suppose you have questions about my daughter. Tell me about this radio you hmm. got. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty hey, isolated welcome back, out baby. here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be overprotective. Yeah, that's one word for it. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> You're doing good, baby. Her. The world out there. <laughs> doing good, pushing that next button. <laughs> yep. But Kenji still sees her swaddled. In You're the real MVP. He doesn't see. I mean, yes, but this isn't why. <laughs> Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Maybe she's in love. Nothing else right now. All right, Dad, your turn. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About yes, my daughter, Jesus. Right? Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. Nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something like she usually does. Someone made contact with her and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but you said it was kidnapped. Your, uh, your eye know. makeup in the apocalypse is on point, Possibly babe. I do what I can. But she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Jeopardy. No more questions right now. Work quickly, Echo. How do I turn this in? I'm I think I'm done. Ugh, no, I think I missed a question with both of them. Excuse me, Mrs. Nakano. Did you have more questions yes, about Kasumi? unfortunately. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. My daughter is strong, focused. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. No yeah, bitch. That. It's just that we've been... I succeeded. ...a lot more. In all persuading of her. Noise. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away... Uh, the he baby wants the to go OUT. ...he was the really... Talk to oh, yeah. I'll be Kenji back. and I don't Thank understand you. machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Neat. 
Investigate the boathouse. Right now. All right. Does Dad have any information? Mr. Nakano, did you have questions? Yes, unfortunately. Anything more you could tell me? I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Well, but you did. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more All questions right. right now. So he quickly. was murdered in the wastes? All right, let's go check out this fucking boathouse. I'm ready. Just in case. You never know. Yeah. All right. Hey, God damn it. Just gonna be building a collection or something. Yeah, shut up. You know what? I'm gonna sit here and be judged by you, Nick. Search it. Oh, yeah. MP, huh? Good work. It unlocks the boathouse because it said it was the boathouse key. Gimme. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but. God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths, synthetic people, made by the Institute. Right. They are trying to build a place for their kind, where they can be themselves and right. be accepted for Think we've robbed what they are fine. alongside human beings. Excellent. It sounds wonderful, What's but in here? then they started asking about me and some questions no came up. Thank you. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, what the, hell's the point of that little I've room? always felt <laughs> off, like I'm not really supposed to be here. But then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. Neat. I. It's a beach. I'm going to go to meet these synths. I. I have to know the truth about myself. They have told these me fish? to sail up north no. to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, the only from Far Harbor. Where are you, Nick, and why are you monologuing? Wow, he's looking out into the sea. I mean, get over here, you dumbass. Where the fuck is the okay. It's like I've lost the house. Hmm. I'm gonna get on the boat and see if there's anything to steal there before we go back in and talk to the dad. I can't believe you can't pet these cats. What the fuck's even the point of like making cats? You can't pet them. Really, I can't take that. I'll take this one. Really? Okay. Hey, gods above. Welcome back from your D&D. &D oh, no. It was a train wreck. Like, a fun train wreck? Hopefully or like a... Not a legit train wreck. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Have you finished your investigation? Yes. Your daughter's a synth. Get over it. I think I know where Kasumi went. Do you want went. this back yet? 
place called done. Far Harbor. Yeah, I was just holding it for you. Making me do all the boring talking bits. I was falling asleep. Oh, God's above. Um, I do love all the boring talking bits. Russell uh, did um, a tier pack, and it gave subs to randomly to five people that follow us, and you were one of them. So welcome to the summoning circle. Cthulhu cheer. Yeah, he did. He Cthulhu cheered. You got a one month sub. Did you find anything Oh like no, they honestly had very little fun. It was just bleh the whole time. I need to ask uh, they hate those are sessions. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? No reason? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure? So many things you didn't know. She was replaced! Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father, and it's built for this one. Aw, yeah, we're gonna steal your boat. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. Thanks for the and free dear, boat. And you were never seen or heard from again. I <laughs> something more than Kasumi is safe with back home. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but I'm gonna carry on like normal. Sorry, it is Terrass O'Clock in our house. Which means the dogs must tear ass. It is the law. I wonder if I should go tell the railroad before I go to Far Harbor. Why? We're not working with the railroad. We're working with the Institute. We don't know that we're working with the Institute. We're working with the Raiders. We're also killing the Raiders because they're shooting at me. Yeah. I hate that. I thought we decided we were going with the Institute because that's where our son was. You decided that. Oh. I play the character very fluid. Okay. See how it plays out. Okay. I will not be going with the railroad, but I'm not an enemy of the railroad. Yet. We've done nothing to piss them off. So, are we going? Are we activating these boat controls? Fuck off, Commonwealth! I want a lever action weapon. Oh, wait, no. Melee only. Damn it. I want a rad space super sledgehammer. Nick, no! No! Ah, oh, that sucks. So one of the players had to leave at 11, so the DM bum rushed through all the, like, role-playing part to get to the encounter. Ooh. And then the encounter only lasted three minutes because someone rolled really well and negotiated it, and the session ended. Boo! 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 Need more DM. Uh. Now Corbin needs to go out. Which means Ahsoka wants to go out. Which it's means consuming. the sun needs to get up. <laughs> Take your Pop Tart with you. You go. Me go? Yeah. But I'm the camera. I'm the face. He's done it twice. I've done it now. Alright, I'll go. I leave you in Jay's capable hands. Oh no, the DM only found out about the person having to leave at 11 right before the encounter. He bum rushed through the conversation be without time constraints? Well, that's just poor DMing. Yeah, it sounds like your DM is uh, green. Yeah, and they think that D&D um, &D is just encounters. When that's only like 10% of D&D. All right, I gotta deal with the now, doggos. Granted, I live for the encounters in D&D, &D, but Usually, like, it takes, like, four or five sessions before we even get, get to, to the an first encounter. encounter. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. I leave you with Jay. Like, I'm in the middle of a campaign that's kind of stalled out because of it's hard to get everybody together and blah, blah, blah. But, like, we're seven, 
sessions in and no haven't room. fought a Alan, single fucking hotel. thing. Like, nothing. Not a fist fight in a bar, nothing. Welcome. Like, nothing Sorry. at all. It's all been you conversation and discovery and, you know, Alan's world building and Not blah, blah, blah. Good it's been fantastic. So, uh, but we, it was building up to this giant, like, raid on the town that we were in and and then we haven't <laughs> gone back for another session. What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? I didn't come all this way to be interrogated by the likes of you. What? I knew I should have wasted her. Listen, stranger, if my tone is short, it's because of dealing with knuckleheads like Alan Lee. This is no interrogation, more like a welcome party. People don't come to Far Harbor unless they have a powerful good reason. It might be I can help. A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hall, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. All I've got is melee, woman. Let's do this. You sure you saw something? This ain't a drill. The hell? I shield everyone. Open the gate. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Go for it. Oh shit. Well, that didn't work. And the legendary probably won't respawn. Far Harbor. We uh, don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a... Uh, but Alan... A young woman... So At least... Uh -huh. Damn it. Mariners... Coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Man the 
So I had to jump down there to fight all the fuckers, and uh, they do a lot of damage. So now I'm just gonna throw Maltovs at them. <laughs> the the no and save more frequently. Oh shit. Screw you, hippies. <laughs> Valentine is not having a good time. There, he got it. He had it. Oh, shit. Ow. What is... What? Why would you do that? Harbor Man, why? Betrayal. What? Ew. Guys, stop throwing grenades at us. I'm down here, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it had to check everyone in the world before being like, oh, Seriously. you mean the monster in front of you? Is About that to what die you. Too. Yeah, it not looking good. No. Man, no! God, they're just oh, hurt so bad. I need ballistic weave. <laughs> Ugh. Thanks, dead guy. Yeah, y'all didn't make it, so. Uh... Thanks, other dead person. You too, buddy. Oh, are you? Oh no. I I don't think you're gonna make it. It's throwing the back! It it's it's evolving! <laughs> Shit. Oh, <God. laughs> I'm just gonna say it doesn't look good. <laughs> you just saved Nick's life. He returns the favor. <laughs> you need to climb back up those fucking stairs. Or is there no way back up? I don't know, I didn't look. Oh, good, there were only two waves, thank god. Yeah, see, I was fine. You are I guess fine is relative. Defender. Fine Crap. is what I say it is. That was, uh, that was a lot. Shouldn't have jumped down here with me, dumbasses. Now you're naked and dead. <laughs> no dignity. Diggity. They're naked. No diggity. Avery. No, no. And now you see what we're up against. Absolutely not. Fog and the creatures it spits out have taken Why are you guys not just left? People. That's my question. For your help when we needed it. You deserve this. Fuck yeah, we deserve it. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. <laughs> <I'd> <laughs> I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. What's the with real the right problem? People and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been God's here above forever. says to tell you the that didn't he says it. F. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come and it all goes wrong. You? It's time we <laughs> do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. What were you guys talking about when I wasn't here? 
you told them a story about your DM. What what did you end it with? Or have you forgotten already? Not about any letters. Just F. F to pay respects. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it, it's well, it's I a meme. Have work. Yeah. Only isn't it like X? X? No, it's F. Is it F? Is it F? It's F. Oh. oh. Well, that's keyboard command. Uh, yeah, and it was because you died. It was F to pay respects because you died. The children made the bog worse? <laughs> Absolutely not. It's not X to doubt is what you're thinking. Uh. These counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. But now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. And you know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Well, let's go get some. I'm pretty sure they are. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all. Yeah, we don't that. give a shit about your You're cult problem. Yeah, we I, are pro cult. I, thank I you. The children of Adam. I know you do. <laughs> but I will be dangerous. Probably. Will. Old Longfellow. Let no them one live knows this the time. fog like him. Really? We'll see. But, uh, we'll see. Point. Okay. I really hate the children of Adam. But we maybe we should because we're we have a cult. They have a cult. You know, it's, old it's like the cult story. bro code. The best hunter on the island. Brolt Fearless. code. Some say crazy. That's a horrible word. Someone needs to get to Acadia. He's the only one that'll do it. But Gods above says that he really likes the Children of Adam's aesthetic. That is good shit. Yeah, I like right. the aesthetic just They're fine. They're just so like annoying. The, the rags and all the you know, gamma rays and shit, but uh. Just I'm just not really into cults. What the hell, babe? What? Thanks for the info. Cthulhu is right here. Best place he can hear you. It's not the same. Ball. Not the, the same. Point. And uh, please lend a hand. Actually, Cthulhu town, looks like able. he's having a having a Even minute back there. Away, people like the Mariner and Cassie he's resting. and others he's resting. need help. And let me say something you might not. We need some more Cthulhu's. Speaking Thank of, if you want to. Start hyping up uh, what we're dropping next week. I talked about it a little bit on Twitter. Cause Cosmo does Cthulhu cheers and says he's right here, you monster. You're hurting <laughs> his feelings. Oh, that'll be another one. Cthulhu sad, like hey, Cthulhu crying. Get us in trouble. But yes, yeah, so um, in case you guys weren't here earlier, next Thursday we are going to begin streaming The Sinking City, which came out today. Or this week, but we couldn't start it this week because Jay won't be here tomorrow and I'll be streaming alone. I got family shit. He's got family shit. I so. made promises to to little nine year olds and uh That was your first mistake. But yeah, so be here next Thursday at eight seven central because we will be doing a Cthulhu game, Sinking Whoops. City. Whoops. <gasps> Whoops. Well, now you have to load. Motherfucker. Hopefully I this hit the is... wrong button and stole a plate. And they were like, that is the last fucking straw. <laughs> God damn it. Islander or mainlander. Not here under. Yeah. God's above says that he's heard it's a broken as hell game, but likable in spite of all that. At least according to Jim Sterling, who I trust. Who does he write for? Or is he a YouTuber? I, I don't recognize Sounds the like name. Sounds like a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? A little bit. Don't steal. I was what? hidden. I was hidden. It's a Why hot plate. Why are you like it's this? It's a hot plate. What the fuck is wrong with... It's a hot plate. There are plenty of hot plates that you don't have to risk Avery. getting murdered by the entire town. I was hidden. Up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out plate. have taken the whole I from my I don't even know who you are well, anymore. Well, oh, yeah, because that's out of character for me. <laughs> I've never once stolen something because the hidden symbol came up. I don't do that all the fucking time or anything. It gives me an anxiety. I don't like it. Tough it out. No. It will always give me an anxiety. We could be streaming when we're 70. I'll be like, please stop stealing things from the young folk. And I'll tell them to get the fuck off my lawn. Been here oh, he's an independent. He does the gym position. I have not heard of it. I enjoy his pun name. It's a good pun name, though. My my level of uh, 
respect no for him has risen at least one level. Nonsense. Yeah, I heard, I was reading a couple of things, and everything seemed to agree that the story is great, the, children, the mechanics are great, but the controls are clunky. Now the fog. And the map you know, is kind of wonky. Sure people are friendly. Whatever. I've dealt with worse. Get back to business. Sorry for all. You're here for Kasumi. Getting there will have no I mean, everybody it. said that We Happy Few was, Thanks for the you know, Please. Not that and great control wise. We didn't have a problem, so. We shall see. We will be doing it next week. I'm excited. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. The Sinking City. Cthul Cthulhu Thursday. Yeah. Cthursday. 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 Will it be cathartic? <laughs> Cather my guard. Thursday. I like it. What? Oh, you're fucking selling stuff. I was like, why is this guy got a stutter from hell? Is the only thing that kept you stowaways alive. That and the mainlander. Yeah. What kept us safe was harbor make out. I mean, she might. <laughs> Can you get me closer? Mariner. Oh, sh nope, she rejected you. That's fine. That's fine. We understand consent. Did you get out of her fucking face? I just said we understand consent. Shipwreck. Handyman. The only one keeping the harbor afloat. Babe. What? Back up. Personal space. For helping you out, I expect some appreciation. What? In the form of thanks. You and me both been saving these whelps for ages without even a word of thanks. Screw these hippies, leave them to die. You'd be willing to lend a hand. In order Who's this to sassy repairs. bitch in the background? <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> strolled up and like flipped her hair and everything and then just <laughs> sauntered off. Sashayed away. <laughs> so I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps. That's a lot of pay caps, is bitch. Pay is. Are you in or out? Wow, she straight up rejected you. Damn my lack of charisma and intelligence. Rules are certain to be there. I could smash her in like one or two hits though. Thank you, Ten Strength. Where did a uh, sassy pants go? We'll never find her again. Was she even real? Or simply a mirage? You're that mainlander who just got here. Correct. Oh no, it's she's Squeak squeakin' squeak squeakerton. Sounds interesting. I I thought you might my fan it was the island. Nope. Don't care. We don't give a shit about your life story, lady. Let's move it along. Oh my god. She's telling us a novel. Yes, we'll avenge him. Yeah, PD was my best friend. <laughs> Let's go! I want to kill things. <laughs> Tired of talking to you, monster. What the fuck? What the fuck? Makes things taste more fishy. Gross! Hmm. Hey, buddy. Uh, Doink. Excellent. No, oh, that'll be fun. God's Above's got another D and D session tomorrow the with the crew said, that he likes. It's a media? monster of the week, so you get your hands dirty, hopefully that one goes better. I'm done leaving people to their deaths in the park. Last All right, bye, old man. I'm not some no-name mainlander. I'm tough enough for your little island. A bit of lead on the hull, and now you think you're ready to yeah, the I think they were. I think they were boiling it like it was a lobster. They were gonna eat it. Yes, I mean that's how they become fish people. In the name of Cthulhu. Wrong game. I helped the harbor out. I figure all of you owe me something at least. Eat of Cthulhu's you're flesh and become Cthulhu. You can get in line. Where are you getting your uh, hair pomade, guy? It's looking slick. 
Fop. The Fop Man. Damn it. Oh, Monster of the Week is a game system oh, powered by Where's the Apocalypse God? system. Oh, I thought you meant like you guys played, you know, like once a month and did a Monster of the Week, like a self contained story. But that makes more sense. I don't think anybody appreciated my, my reference. We weren't listening. No one ever does. I listen sometimes. What? He's a fop man, damn it. <laughs> Little brother, where art thou? What? George Clooney. I know who George Clooney is. Because this whole thing is like fop. What? It's a certain brand of hair gels that he slicks back his hair with. Okay. Now, I, I understand. But you had to explain the joke like four ways from Sunday, so. Or is he a Dapper Dan man? What? It's either Dapper Dan or Fop. Now I can't remember. Those are the two brands. I fucking hate you. Damn it. Someone help me out. Nick looks like he's about have? to like steal Let's his like you. murder him and You're take his there. life. Ah. I'm the bartender now. Let's get you liquor. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna step it up and be like, my name is Mitch Valentine. <laughs> Mitch McConnell Valentine? <laughs> God I hope not. Turtle man. Evil melting turtle. Take all your livelihoods and sell them to <laughs> highest bidder. <Mitch> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Fuck Mitch McConnell. Your Fuck D &D him and his game stupid ass. Currently with another. Oh, that's no. You should never do that. Ugh. <laughs> Their DM is running two games concurrently, and the other group's behind, so this, his group is having to do Mitch? something else while they wait for the first group to catch up. <laughs> That's fine. I don't know. Maybe it's just because the group. If it's groups, organic. Right, but that just makes it like so the groups we run with. Like, okay. once we skip to something temporarily, Even we just never go back. So we just, like, game hop and never finish anything. It's a lie. You walk in like but if you guys have it, the stamina to actually time. finish what you start, then yeah, that'd be cool. Our, our friends just don't have that kind of attention span, apparently. <laughs> Madness will. The island will claim us all in the end. Uh, okay. Yes. And one of them is it's doing thesis natural. stuff. The trappers you find inland, some were that should be the uh, final boss for a session. A but thesis? Many just yeah, lost and in he's... The fall. Under its control and has to defend it. Defend his thesis. I'm gonna turn this stream off. Return where you came from and don't look back. If it's so dangerous, okay. why do you stay? This is our home. If you call yourself a proper man or woman, you don't give up on that. Sure you do, buddy. Shut up, greaser. We all do it with your long night deep in the belly of the beast that wronged you. You, you can do that on the mainland too, friend. And there aren't like I'd creepy like synth monsters. It's up the stairs. I need to go to sleep. The game demands that you Sleepy take a nap. Sleep, 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 sleep. Can I steal stuff in here without getting shot? Nope. nope. Whoa now. It still wants me to. Oh, whatever, I'll just. Take a nap, nap. Hello, Corbin. Life's too bloody short to be sober. Amen. Dude, it's 11. <laughs> two types of people, I guess. I mean, if I'm on vacation, <laughs> time don't matter, but. All right, you're done. You did it. Good job. Thanks. What the hell does it want me to do? I already tried. barter. I don't I fucking did that. All right, what are our options here? Oh, get, whiskey. get whiskey. Gotcha. What's up, Mitch? I wasn't listening. You not read the quest before you run in to do it? You don't say. I wasn't it's listening to the quest. so unlike you. You would never just... You were talking. Uh-huh. Shut your hole. I will not. Fine. Fine. Fine! Excellent. Great! 
perfect. Super. The best. You got my whiskey yet? Better than all the rest? <laughs> spectacular. Uh, spectacular, uh, spectacular. Uh, A word for the vernacular. I need that kasumi. <laughs> Go where I say when Ow. <laughs> she hit me in my good rib. You stock up on your necessities, rad eggs and the like. And then the real work can begin. Let's go, old man. Let's go, long fellow. Follow me. Where'd the ball go? Kasumi, where's your ball? The big kids take it? Yeah, the big kids took it. <laughs> Can we kill stuff now? No, well, sort of. We're making the long run up to Arcadia. You know, we'll get attacked a few times along the way. Yeah. And then there's another hour of talking. Honestly, you might call it when we get to Arcadia. Okay. Arcadia's above the fog of the mountains. It's a bit of a high. Okay, great. Let's go. Taste foul as sin. Oh, yeah. But it'll help. Ew. Why would you want to eat my alert turkey? You've got your own food. Old mountain trail. Fog. Oh shit, it's rads. Give me some. Some hazmat. Mainlanders think a dose of rat away is all you need. <laughs> Track. Fresh ones. Trappers are big. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Yeah. Keep your head down if you want. Thanks. To. This is not our first fucking rodeo. Shut up. We're, uh, we're gonna do what we want. Hey, buddy. Do you have a moment to hear about our Lord and Savior, Bertie Droper? <laughs> Melee mom? Well, well, well. They were making drugs. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Oh my god, dogs! Nope. He's on the other side of that tiny fish line. You could not reach him. Get wrecked. Yeah, maybe that old man will shut up now. Try to tell you how to fight. Birdie Dripper won't suffer no fools. Wow, she's really good at a balancing act, too. Uh. Game? What? <laughs> What'd you do? What the fuck just happened? What? Nope. Mm -hmm. oh. All um. Right. Mm. Ha. Uh. Ah! <laughs> just happened? I blitzed and it like twigged out. You are the goddess of the super duper mart apparently. Dogs, you have to chill. You're not half bad. Mr. Not <laughs> half bad. Let's go. The dogs don't know the meaning of the word chill. Mostly because they can't read. Or speak English. That plus take. I'm convinced they understand it, though. To a point. Well, I mean, it's proven that they know words. Right, but, like, how... Like, can they... Is it just individual words, or can they understand sentences? Like, they understand simple sentences. Like, get in here. No, or, they understand here. Or, you know, go potty. I understand potty. If I said, like, go potato head, they wouldn't do it. Yeah, again, because they understand potty. Oh, I see. Sorry, Longfellow guy, man, dude. 
I had to uh, randomly cook at that random cooking station. <laughs> He's like, let's go, and you're like, I'm busy, hold on. Whoa, wow. He's actually good at shooting? There's the mountain trail. Yeah, Nick, you could take a lesson. Seriously. Well, he does have a lever action rifle. Kill him. I want one. Kill him and take it. I can, I'm melee only. <laughs> <laughs> you could still take it. Just hold it sometimes. <laughs> Why do I have like three dogs and cats? What is happening here? Why are you like this? Mmm, whole nut sweet tea. I hope it's delicious. Hope it has vodka in it. What is Firefly? Homemade Firefly. What? Sure. That's a sneaky leg. You could use that. Oh, God's Above does not drink. Oh. Fair. Well, to each their own. Yes. Totally valid. Sorry, the dogs knocked everything over because they're idiots. Utterly acceptable. Why you got two hazmat suits? I don't know, man. I just, I just do what I do. Uh, what kind of uh, tea do you use to make your your sweet tea? Still got a, ways to go. a ways? How long is a ways? Eighteen nautic nautical miles, how as the crow flies. What? No. They usually stick to the deep box. Don't want this any of this shit. That shadow did something weird. When I was a young lad, no higher than you and me, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Yeah, humans are pretty dumb. America wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, nothing good. Let's get some! Uh, you fucked it up. Oh man, they're fighting the Mire Lurks. Maybe we can still, let, wait, let's, let's see how this plays out. Just... He's taking my experience. Fine. You always fight harder, not smarter. <laughs> is the the main difference in our fighting styles you're running gun i'm like let's stay back and think about this for a second i need the experience never gonna level if i don't get the experience sure you will there's plenty of things to kill in this game you're right and i'm gonna kill them y yeah but like you didn't have to kill all of them they would have killed each other that would have been less experience there's more things to kill in the game than experience oh, you can get no. They, it's infinite respawns. Now the big ones, they can grow two, three times the size of the man. Good thing we don't see too many of them. Uh, dead! Ah. The ghoul scared me. Yes. Do it. Oh my god, we are never gonna get there. I feel like he's really short. I feel like I'm towering over him. <laughs> mm, nope. I'm like the Brienne Tarth of the Waste. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Back out again. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. The damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Creepy cultists. Rat, worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about books? Hey. Faith shield you against those too. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot her then. She ain't worth wasting ammo on. 
Too bad I left my hunting knife at home. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Sounds cool. Let's go. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures. And instead, seek the only Ah, yes, the holy fog that brings the monsters. Look, you see know me. you're crazy, right? Watch yourself outside. Come here, baby. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done He's a puppy. With a fanatic, <laughs> I fear nothing. Ah, take them all. Good job, babe. I hate the children of Adam. So I guess we're not going to make friends with them this time. I don't know. We still might. Carrying too much and cannot run. Damn it. Onward. He's using his goddamn pistol again. Hey. One. Maybe that's why he's not firing anything, because he doesn't have the ammo for it. I gave him ammo last time. Yeah. Companions don't run out of ammo, according to everybody else. Like, if you give them one, they have it infinitely, but you have to give them the right type. Where the fuck did his glowing gun go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it uses 308s. He's got 107 on. Oops. Up. Only non companion NPCs don't run out of ammo? God damn it, you do have to give him ammo. Or he can't use it. This is why he hasn't been doing anything. Who's a companion NPC? Anyone that's with you. And non companion NPCs. So, like, the settlers okay. have infinite ammo if you give them one. Oh, fuck. But he does not. You have to yeah, arm him with ammo or he runs out. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Well, that explains a lot, honestly. <laughs> Thank you, gods above. I will take more El Dragos. Alternately, you could download a mod to give them infinite ammo. Well, we can't. We're playing it on Xbox. I mean, it might exist on Xbox, but yeah, but we're not, we're not messing with mods. Yep. You've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. All right, They'll bye. Be for you. you need my help again? You come see. Me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Oh, Kasumi, you're here. making a horrible mistake. Small anger dog does not want you. Just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, Oh, he had it on PS4. If you can get it on PS4, you can definitely get it on Xbox, no question. Fair enough. I can handle things from here. I've just never really done mods on our consoles before. I barely mod on PC. Excuse me? Can't remember if I had my bath this week or not. Yeah. But. Nice. Sorry, I'm getting a photo of this for you guys. Assume he's in the kennel with the cat trying to make friends. It's not going great. No, do not shut the door. They need to be able to escape. Oh my god, Izzy is raiding with a party of nine. A get what? Hello, raid. We're about to kill the stream. <laughs> Izzy says, coming to get you, and also <laughs> misspell words. Because <laughs> he spelled it cooming. Well, it it's true. Welcome. Well, god damn it. Fine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, time for some cheers. Sleeping, I'm dead. What were you playing, dude? Wait, you were playing Enter the Gungeon again, because according to the streaming channel, you're still on, you're still live, because you literally just stopped. Izzy says, already, Jay, you okay there? 
Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. He's he cut the grass right before we started streaming, and uh, he forgot it was Thursday. So he came upstairs. He's like, "Are you going to the gym?" I was putting makeup on. I was like, "What? No, I'm getting ready to stream." And he's like, "Oh, it's Thursday," <laughs> which is why we started a little bit late. Was because he had to rinse off and feel less like heat stroke. Not heat stroke. Hey, Blue. That's gross. Blue is also just in time for the raid. Everybody's here now. Woot woot. <laughs> so we are doing Far Harbor. So you guys just missed like an hour and a half of talking. Because you no, can't there's more talking. There's more talking to be had. No, I do I do not put on makeup to go to the gym. <laughs> yes you do. No, I don't. When the hell have I ever put on makeup to go to the gym? I'll wear my makeup to the gym if I already have it on from, like, doing something else. But I've never specifically been like, I'm going to the gym, I need to go upstairs and do my face. Mm. I just don't take my makeup off before I go if it was already on. No, it's bad enough that I'd go sometimes with it on because I get in the sauna at the gym after and usually I end up sweating eyeliner and mascara into my contacts and it hurts really bad. Also, apparently I have a low sodium diet because my sweat is really salty and it stings my face. Yeah, some people put makeup on before they go to the gym. Um, I try not to judge, but yeah, it feels just, for me personally, it feels like a waste of money. Like, makeup is expensive. Let's go to the National Park. I don't want to talk. I want to kill shit. <laughs> You're like, I'm fucking sick of talking to you guys. I just want to murder things. Huh. <laughs> I only have so much patience. It's beautiful up here, though. Where are we going? Oh, man. You are not in power armor. Please be careful. No. Oakley doakley then. Oh man, Blue has a cat story for us. A naked cat came into her apartment the other day. This is already off to a great start. Okay. Why is it naked? Because it's a hairless cat. Ew. Yeah, it's one of those little hairless kitties. It's just Gross. got skin. Hey, buddy. Izzy says, jump, send them shins up into your shoulder blades. <laughs> nah, he just fucking, ah, 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 they hurt. Oh no. Damn, babe. What? I told you I wanted to kill shit. Yeah, and God's above says, Sphinx cats are adorable, Jay, shut your mouth. <laughs> I've never held one, but I've always wanted to. I'm not a cat person. He's not. He barely tolerates our cats. Blue says, I leave the door cracked open for her own cats because they're spoiled and my entrance is relatively safe. So my cats were out wandering in the backyard, failing to protect the house. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. Oh, I bet Myrlurks taste delicious. Big old crabs. Everything's radioactive here. You might as well eat radioactive crab. Something's gonna kill you. It might as well be delicious. All right, so it's blue. Radically delicious. Blue went heard a commotion and went downstairs to see what it was. And it had come in and gotten between her two cats, but then thankfully ran out when she went downstairs. But yeah, like a stranger's cat got into her house. They were having a party, and yeah, you, you don't know. We had a cat block. Yeah, they were they were having a three way. You don't know. That does not look natural. Yeah, I wanna I wanna mutate a big whoa, old crab. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is going on back here? She jumped on top of us. Ahsoka did not want to be used as a. A jumping pad, Kasumi. Oh my goodness, she did not like that. Oh my god, the story's not over. Okay, so it ran off, and then the following day she saw it in the yard again, having a stare down with one of her cats. 
This cat has come to claim you. Stare down for a stare down. Sorry, what? Stare down for a stare down. I heard you, but... Stare down. For a stare down. You can say that as many times as you want. It's Thank still... you for the permission. <laughs> it make any more sense than it did the first time. They do look like little goblins. They're just little dobies waiting for their sock. Free them. Oh man. It's about to be bitey face o'clock. Yes, they are interesting crab monsters. We have entered a DLC. Ew area. Gross. Um, oh, I, by the way, did anybody here actually, besides me, watch the new Charlie's Angels trailer today? I know Jay did, because I forced him to watch it, but uh, if if you... Uh, it looked passable. Yeah, it looked like... He says passable. I thought it looked amazing, but it's just gonna be fluffy like, you know, action spy shit. I'm ready. Yeah, the new Charlie's Angels. It's um, Kristen Stewart... Um, the girl from Aladdin that played Jasmine, and some other lady whose name I don't know. But, um, it looks baller as hell. Elizabeth Banks. And Elizabeth Banks is Bosley, and apparently Patrick Stewart is in it. Uh, the new Aladdin, the live action one. The trailer just came out today. Did I win? I think I won. Did you? You gotta get some power tools. Yeah, I eliminated the ghouls. Good job. Y you got vengeance for Petey. I, uh, we don't know if Patrick Stewart is Charlie because they, like, you know at the end when they do the whole bit um, where it's like Kristen Stewart in, you know, blank, 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 Elizabeth Banks as Bosley. It didn't say who the voice of Charlie was. But the trailer ends with uh, the traditional Charlie's Angels voice going, you know, good morning, angels, and the ch girls say good morning Charlie so I don't know if Patrick Stewart is being voice modulated or if he's a villain uh, yes Kristen Stewart has figured out how to express emotions it turns out when you just let her be hella gay she's much happier son will you let the dog out know, I've, I've seen several Kristen Stewart movies that I found her enjoyable in and of course I've seen several others that I found her to be completely atrocious in so you know give and take yeah but no she looks like hella gay in a really good way in the trailer. Nice. Says the bisexual. Yeah. Twilight's just bad. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not even talking about Twilight. Fuck that. Yeah, that wasn't her movies. fault. Fuck that whole franchise. Fuck the books. Except maybe the guy that played, yeah, the vampire, or the werewolf, Taylor. But yeah, the others who hated it. Like, I don't think anyone's ever hated a role as much as Robert Patterson, Pattinson hated being in Twilight. Like, even in interviews, it was fucking hilarious how much he hated that franchise. I don't blame him. No. Got paid, though. I think the part that really pissed him off was when him and Kristen Stewart were in that fake relationship to help draw publicity. Like, that's just, I don't know. It feels very old school Hollywood, like 1930s when they controlled your whole fucking life. Isn't that just rumored? Weren't they actually in a relationship? No, because Kristen Stewart is gay. Goodbye. She hasn't dated another guy since him, so there's so, theories that she was actually... So she might be female-leaning, but that doesn't true. mean she's not bi. You mean you should know. No, I'm just saying, like, I don't know if she ever confirmed or denied, like, what their situation was. Tumblr was full out, like, red string, like, yeah, crazy board about are. it. Yes, Kristen Stewart is just, yeah, so good. She appeals to everyone. There is no demographic. Blue said, oh, I guess I can give her another chance. After all, I learned to like Marina Baccarin, but it took a while after hating her for appearing in all of my shows. I don't know who that is. Uh, Inara from Firefly. I love Inara. 
And which, what at role of hers did you find that you ended up liking her in? Uh, would you I thought the boy was in the house, but he was not. He's outside with the dogs. Carrying too much and cannot run! Never really had strong opinions about actors. You hardly even thought about them regardless. Well, it's kind of my job. Um, so, I mean, I have opinions about actors just because you can't write about them as much as I do without it, you know, forming some sort of opinion about them. Oh man, I totally forgot she was on Gotham. Apparently that was the role. Several seasons on Gotham War blew down. I just, I couldn't get into Gotham. Yeah, we only tried the first season though, but we just did not yeah. get into it. Our Could daughter loved it, it though. She watched the whole damn thing. Uh, I don't think she was in the X-Files reboot. Was she? I don't know. If she... No. I don't believe so. If she was, it wasn't in a very big role. Yeah, I feel like Gotham was one of those shows you watch knowing that it's, like, campy. And, like, we didn't realize that when we were watching it. We were trying to watch it like it was serious. No, I was watching it for Jim Gordon, and then they kept forcing Batman and, like, his um, villains into it. And I, what I really wanted was Gotham PD. Like, yeah. And then, like, somewhere in the background, like, you see, like, a hint of Batman, like, flitting past the screen or something like that. But ultimately, like, I wanted it to be about how a police department functions in a city with a superhero. Super yeah. I also would have accepted, once they started introducing the supervillains, um, an alternate reality where Jim Gordon has to take on supervillains because Batman died, like, as a child, like, never became a thing. I just found the whole premise silly that, like, all the villains were, like, already all there and, like, I, don't, I just I hate that same same thing we were talking about earlier where they forced Greedo into yeah, episode, episode one. one on the other side so that whole idea that everyone has to know everyone which there is can't the be entire any... problem with Solo as a movie yeah like, there can't be any coincidences there can't be any like just strangers meeting yeah. everybody has to be related to somebody in some way like, oddly I actually find Solo as one of the more like uh, guilty pleasure rewatchable Star Wars films. When did you rewatch Solo? I rewatched it like four times. You just haven't told me because you didn't want me to judge you. I don't care one way or the other. <gasps> Alright, we know how this goes. Get him. Oh no! 90% damage reduction, bitch! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's exploding everywhere! Okay. So yeah, uh, Solo, terrible, because all it did was like, and this from way back when, and this from way back when, and this totally unnecessary thing that we're now going to tell you all about. Yeah, the best parts of Solo were all the new things, like Invis Nest and the chick that Daenerys played. Kiara. Yeah, Kiara, and, you know, the robot lady, until she got screwed over. Hmm? L3. Yeah. Leet. Izzy says, yo, that dude doesn't know the rules. You can't spike the ball anymore. <laughs> I'm not even where I'm supposed to be. Haha. -ha. Yeah, he tried. It didn't work. I don't understand the concept of of the suiciders anyway like to kill you no I, I get that but like they're literally just they don't all right we, I, I realize i guess like it's a shout out to japanese and world war ii the kamikaze pilots but like 
they had an honor bound system. The, the super think, mutants uh, do not. Like, I think the super mutants are just like super warlike, and like, why wouldn't they run towards you with a nuke? Uh, not on, not one one on one. Like, I can see I, that if they were running into like a den of the enemy, like you know, maybe they have like the, the, the trade off. Like, you maybe. kill ten, you die like one life. Like that's maybe, a good. Maybe that's they got a good like the canskers or something. They're dying. Like. Uh, it could be some like Fury Road shit where they only have half life, so they might as well like do something chill with it. I guess. Yeah, Izzy says it's to kill you. That's why they do it. That's that's lazy writing. Ugh, ridiculous. I mean, I personally want to be carried across the. Uh, the threshold to Valhalla, so it's I can true. be shiny and chrome again. Orcs in 40k just want to kill or mutate all humans. Uh, Why could super mutants not feel that way? It's because orcs in 40k are just fucking mushrooms. He says, although he does agree, it's lazy writing. But you can explain it away. Fanfic it away. They're not mushrooms here. What? Warhammer 40k oh. and Warhammer orcs are fungal. Mushrooms, yes. Hey, buddy. He's getting up. Oh, he's he thought about it. He did. Yeah. What are we doing here? I don't know, man. Getting a drill Yeah, and it, Yeah, Izzy says, yeah, they're a virus. So they're still not, like... You know, they're a, they want to yeah, kill. Yeah, well, based on Mr. Smith, humans are a virus, too. Well, we can't trust Mr. Smith. He's, yeah. His code's corrupted. Hi, Corbin. Welcome, Husky Butt. His yeah, code's they've... corrupted by a human, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they used to be. Huge super mutants used to be human, but, like... Through science. Did these super mutants used to be human, or are they reproducing at this point? Because this is, like, 250 years in the future. See, that's, that's what I need to know. Because I don't know if you ever see any lady super mutants. Or, like, maybe they reproduce asexually. We don't know. Or maybe they're like gremlins. If they get fed after oh, midnight, they, uh... But it's... Isn't it always after midnight? Yes. So when is it safe to feed them? Never. Then they're gonna die. Or, you know, reproduce. Oh! Apparently super mutants are sterile and have no gender dimorphism. Interesting. So are these just the originals? Do they just live for, like... Ever? Ever? Like ghouls? Oh, they capture humans and hit them with the virus and irradiate them to transform them. Ah, uh, reverse. So then it makes even less sense that they would want to blow you up. Yeah, what, that's they what wanna I'm saying. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. Oh. Okay, so once they become super mutants, they lose gender. Okay. But they, she's crying because she wants the cat. Oh. Tough titties. The cat does not want you. She will never want you. You're lucky she's not beating you in the face. There's those power tools you needed. Power tools. Power tools. Give the mariner... Get out of the fucking way, Nick! Drugs and stuff. Drugs and stuff. Ah. Izzy says they're trying to kill you because they know you'd put up too much of a fight if they tried to infect you. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. Again, that's lazy. Okay. They do present an interesting challenge, especially in a melee build, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, there should be a follow game where you can become a super mutant. H hello? Some shit's going down somewhere. Why are we fighting? Guys, what? God, God. Door. Your fucking nemesis is the door. Oh, hey, buddy. Who the hell are you? Why are you in here, Machete Mike? Oh my god, he's dying! Okay, he's okay. Oh, the super mutants in Boston are from the Institute. Hi. The ones in the Capital Wasteland. 
Time not. Take okay. Take schools for weeks. Wait for an opening. Can you dive in and chop each up? Bang, bang. And yeah, and the ones, ones on the east coast are essentially a soup, different species than the ones on the west coast because those were all made by the master, and they're they've evolved separately. Yeah, the yeah, ultimate point here, though, is that suiciders do not make sense in the, in the lore. <laughs> what the hell's a commercial? Wait, it don't matter. Uh, Marina sent you, didn't she? Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders will give an arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here. Oh, right shit. Now. Deal? Why do you need the tools so much? I got yeah, my the Mariner has more quests for us if we give them to her, though. Yeah. The caps I'm paying, that's all you need to know. This is also the one with cancer. Mm-hmm. All right, Izzy, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for the raid, yeah, dude. thanks, dude. Have a good one. One of these times we're going to finish I'll playing before you, and we'll come raid you. Walk away from this, you'll regret it. Valentine liked that. Ah! Ah, what are we regretting? You we just three thousand caps. <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> it's okay, Valentine. We'll buy your forgiveness, buddy. It'll yeah, be fine. Oh you, shit! I'll get you a new hat, a really big one. Is it a feather? Yeah, obviously. There's somebody up there, and they're mad. Now I'm sneaking, right? That's how we sneak. Oh, it's just a duel. <laughs> Thought it was a witness. It was a witness to my awesome. <laughs> Gross. Hey, steal them caps. Not that I need it. Oh my god. Will you go get her, please? Instead of just, like, mocking her. Thank you. Good job, you did it. Do you think there might still be a red dock down there? What is she barking at? <laughs> She's barking at the wind. Ahsoka! Oh, she's a butt. Interesting. Oh, what? I guess the difference was in the uh, scientific direction they wanted to go with their super mutants? So are you just turning this in? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember which vault it was either. But it's so, I guess it actually isn't that strange that three different vault tech areas would come out with super mutants of their own. I'm sure it came from the base project. Yeah, and like they all uh, made the best they could with what they could find. Right. Yeah. I really hope you find someone to help. But Here, not... take your damn Captain, stuff. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I Would you stop? Walk? Where the fuck are you going, bitch? Oh my god. Besides, I know you're tougher than you look. What Move your fat ass, ass Pearl. We get our drinking water from a purifier <laughs> not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. Fair. The master was just Dunbar, martyr, just full stop. Advantages of being a psychokinetic FEV us. abomination, I guess. I, got mad at you. Yeah. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, why is this robot creeping on you? Back and and you Nick. Head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. Oh, yeah, fair share. 
Am I gonna need any tools or parts if I have to make these repairs on my own? The fog condensers need their power module to replace, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're gonna have to find him first. Okay. All right. I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Then you should have done this already. Yeah, seriously. Why'd you wait this long, bitch? So does she not give me any experience? I guess nope. it is optional, so the main quest when I finish it, I'll just go yeah. boat load. Go talk to Cassie, let's find out. I was actually I wondering cool that too. Why was she so shiny? It's only right. Some might say moist. Everyone is shiny to Ew, they're not moist. <laughs> I wasn't looking Are they to succulent? I'm just happy to help you out. You're a good person. I've been thinking you'd never want something awful to happen to you. Okay. See, I never played the first two Fallout games, so I only kind of knew this awesome. stuff. You deal with it. Hey, Kasumi. He's like, well, a we baby. Lost someone like Grandpa George. I still remember he had a fall. No, it's not acid rain. Thank God. Grandpa acid rain does happen. But it's uh, orangey color. This is just regular old that rain. Fog crawlers. That's the... Wow, no experience at all. Fuck Come you, on. game. Ain't getting shit. Dirty hippies. All right, maybe she'll give us some experience. Here are your tools. A fair bit of luck. Now to work in the hole. Off the table. <gasps> Good job, you got experience for that one. All right. Hey, a mariner. All manner That's of a lot of caps. You are tools. rolling in caps right now. And I don't really need them for anything. Yeah. Since I don't need ammo or guns, <laughs> could use some better armor, or you know, my ballistic weave. Maybe that's what I'll do. Buy, like, bulk ballistic weave. I need to sell a bunch of crap. Yeah. Well, do we want to call it here, though? Yeah. Alright, guys. We appreciate y'all coming out tonight. All you new folk coming in with uh, Izzy. Hope you had a good time. And um, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, we're going to do some building while Jay is away. And then, uh, depending on how we feel, we might play something else. I'm not I'm sure, sure. I will disapprove of all of it. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure you'll tear it all down. But, uh, so we'll see you back here tomorrow. Or I'll see you guys back here tomorrow night at 8, 7 central. And, uh, good night. Night gods above. Night, y'all. Nope, not that button. Bye, night, blue.